Three, joining me now, Democrat strategist, former Biden campaign surrogate, and an absolute dream come true in front of a background that is blue, Kevin Walling. <laughs> we planned it. Yeah, Kevin Walling is back. So uh, should AOC be Speaker of the House? Much more effective absolutely, in your Absolutely, absolutely not. And I want that $2 million for kissing uh, Randy Weinger, and I'll do it for a minute uh, if I can secure that cash. But listen. <laughs> Uh, you know, I love it was that at least someone on the show wants to party. Thank you, Kevin. Two million bucks? I'll kiss anyone. It's a big deal. Uh, listen, uh, I hear that laughter in the background. Uh, we'll move closer to the screen. There we go. Yeah. Got it. it. Um, listen, it was a pretty good night, obviously, for the left wing of the party. You talked about the squad additions, but it was actually a really good night for moderates and some interesting pickup opportunities. I mean, we, uh, we won all the toss-ups. Uh, in North Carolina, flipping a seat down there in Ohio in the first district. So I think you know you're going to see a, a rise in progressives, obviously in the in the House caucus for the Democrats, but also a pretty strong majority uh, are part of that new Dem movement, which is that more moderate movement, uh, more in the, the ilk of of uh, Joe Biden. Yeah, I can't have it both ways. Joe Biden is not popular. A lot of candidates uh, did not accept his help in some of those big close races uh, for better or for worse. And, you know, it certainly wasn't a mandate for Democrats. And I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Derek. Uh, should Democrats be willing to work with Republicans when they do, in fact, uh, flip the House? Absolutely. I mean, this is why I'm on Fox as a Democrat. I believe in bipartisan solutions, bringing everyone together, uh, because I think Kevin McCarthy is going to have a small majority in the House of Representatives. He's got a lot of factions he's got to deal with. Funny enough, I so was arguing Nancy two Pelosi. weeks ago. I Certainly. mean, that's, and, and both, she, the, both the parties are just in shambles right now. And let's not pretend that either one is on great moral or political footing. No, totally. But I'll get I'll, I'll point out that, you know, Nancy Pelosi is a really effective vote counter and caucus leader. Is she going to resign? Think Kevin, uh, I, I don't think so. I think she's fairly emboldened based on these results that we saw coming out of last night and that we'll continue to see, especially as California starts to get called in some of these other races. Um, but but listen, you know, I think Kevin McCarthy is going to have a really tough job with this small majority and he's going to need support from moderate Democrats uh, to get things done, whether it be on the debt limit, whether it be on uh, government funding, because he's got a lot of the right wing elements of his party that have staked out ground against yeah. any of those proposals. So there's going to be a lot of hey, wheeling man, and dealing in order to make government they, function. I don't care if they work together. Um, government is misfiring right now. It is dysfunctional. And we've spent way too much money. So if Democrats... And the polls show it, Kennedy. The polls overwhelmingly show that. I mean, the, the, the direction of the country is totally off track. And faith in government is at its lowest point, I think, in recent memory, to your yeah. point. All right. Well, Kevin, it's always good to talk to you and see you. It was certainly an interesting night. And uh, I was glad to have your take. Thank you so much. I just wish I was kissing you, not just through the screen. Yeah, I know. Be still <laughs> my heart. It's clad in fuchsia. Thank you, dear. Good Thanks, to talk Kennedy. To you. Uh, coming up, Stacey Abrams, Beto O'Rourke, Charlie Crist. Ah, taking home some big L's last night. Who was last night's biggest election loser? Big Jim Phelan knows. He joins me in studio to discuss. He's right here. There he is. Whoa. Hi.